Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about my favorites, what's been making me happy for the past several months. And I have a few things, but the first thing I want to talk about is something I found. These earrings you have seen me wear a ton of times. They're my very probably one of my very favorite earrings. I bought them about 30 years ago and I lost one. It's a type that has a little wire clips down and goes in just like these, but only these are a lot smaller. Well, I had one in my ear because I sleep in these. A lot of times I sleep in them and I looked everywhere that I thought they could be. And I went around on the other side of the bed and I found this in my bed and it attached to it. It has a 14 karat gold wire that uh, clips it in. I think I said I've had them 30 years. I've had them at least 30 years and I think I paid about a hundred dollars for them. I do get questions on where did you buy your earrings? I'll tell you if ever I have a new one on, but I bought when back in the day, back in the eighties when gold wasn't expensive, I bought a lot of earrings. I bought things that were truly what I consider classic. Either they were hoops or studs. I've, I've never, I've always thought my two face was too long for dangles, so I didn't buy any dangly earrings, but I am just thrilled that I have these. I'm thrilled that I found them, and I just wanted to share this with you. You know, I have a CPAP, and I had a small bedside table, and I knew I needed a bigger one, and I really didn't want to go shopping. I did not want to go shopping because I did not know what I wanted. I thought I wanted something black. I... I didn't know. So I just went to Google, good old Google, and I put bedside table, and I think I put 24 by 18 or something like that. I wasn't worried about the height. And I put in three drawers. So I didn't know what website to go looking for furniture. I've heard of several of them, but I, I just didn't know. So anyway, it brought up Wayfair. I've heard of Wayfair. I know it's not good quality furniture as far as heirloom type furniture. So many of the things I have in my home are things that are family antiques, pieces of furniture that mean something to me, or else like what I wanted to do is I wanted to wait and save my money till I had enough money to buy what I wanted. And what I wanted was solid wood, something that I could um, refinish if I wanted to. So. I've never bought a piece of furniture from any place except a furniture store where I knew the owners. This picture came up and I'll put it in here. And I thought, you know what? That looks about perfect. I made sure sometimes on furniture, sometimes the drawer pulls won't go all the way through. And so that's a problem because if it ever gets loose or you ever want to change them, you can't do it because it's, it doesn't go all the way through to the back. All the drawers were the same size. When it came, I could not believe how well it was packaged. I'm not kidding you. I had to sneak it in the house because I knew Jim would want to help. And I'm thinking it was like 50 pounds plus the packing, something like that. And I got it into this bedroom and it took me forever to unpack it. And it had, it was, I knew it wasn't gonna be scratched. So I got it out and I tell you what, I really like it. You can't tell that it's not wood, it's black and it, you know, it, it, but it's serving its purpose. I thought if it didn't work, I could find someplace else for it, but it does work. Well, I wanted to be able to put my CPAP machine on it and I did not know if it would leak. I had, I don't know how strong they are. I started using this March 1st, so I was looking for a table in March. So I went to good old Google, put in the word tray. I put in the dimensions. I think it was 10 by six or something like that. And this kite popped up and this is from Amazon and it's resin. It was about $23. I liked it. It's faux marble. So I thought this will be perfect. So I got this and put it on here and it didn't work. It is just a little, the dimensions work, but it won't be, it won't go flat on here. So I, what I decided to do is put my CPAP machine on a small table between my bed and my nightstand. 
but I really like this, so I kept it, and I put it on the table, and like I'll put my jewelry and something else, anything that's on here, my glasses, uh, my phone, and I made use of it. So I liked it so well, I ordered another one. And this is it. And this was, I think, under $12. It's about seven by four with that little, you know, like seven, eight, seven inch lift around it. And I like it. I put my water, I come in here with a fake Yeti of water every night. And um, I put my pills in the little container that I have to take at night. And I'm just really happy with it. And isn't it funny how the small things can make you happy? It has little tiny cushions, like glue type cushions on the bottom, but they were both a winner. Probably around April, Jim started getting this great big bump on, between his eyebrows. It started out several months ago before that, he was saying he had a really sore spot there. Well, it has ended up, it is healing now but we went to the doctor, his family physician twice, and that was in April, and he made it a, an appointment for him to see a dermatologist. And that wasn't until August the 16th. In the meantime, he went to a dermatology clinic and he saw a nurse practitioner twice. Well, anyway, he has had a ton of appointments and it is better, but I was using my earbuds a lot. And these are what I have. I have these, these are Apple, and they, they were probably $125. Then I have these, and I can't remember the name, but I bought them from uh, QVC a long time ago, and they were like $75. Well, I was looking for something. I, I, I was afraid I was gonna lose them, is what I was afraid I was gonna do. So I looked on Amazon to find some that were good quality, not expensive. I think they're around $35. They're from Soundcore by Anchor. Well, when I got this, I had lost, I had a black strap like this that I really liked. And I ordered this in red and it attaches to your earbud. I don't know if there's anybody out there like me or not, but I use a lot of times, I use one and I'll get used to it in my ear and by George, it falls out, and I find it a week later. Well, I thought, I'm not gonna do that anymore. So I got another one of these, and they're very inexpensive. This fits all three. I mean, what, what it's intended for is to attach both to it, and then you can take them in and out. But I'm pretty well just use one earbud. And I am not like the person that knows everything about sound. I'm not listening to the symphony on my phone, but they are every bit as good as my other two. And I know it was less than half the price of these and a whole lot less than the Apple iPods. So I'm really so glad I got it because if it falls, I'll find it. I mean, I'll see that string hanging somewhere or it'll hit my shirt and I'll feel it dropping. So this little tiny thing has made me happy. The one thing I should have done with the uh, the last ones, the Soundcore in the black, I should have ordered them in a lighter color because they're a lot easier to see, especially if you have a dark lining to your purse. So I need to remember that the next time I get something like that that's small to get it in a lighter color. From the very beginning of my channel, I have loved the Callista Tool Hair Styler. And I don't know how many I have of them, but I will, I do have a playlist. And at the end of this video, I will put the playlist in case you want to see it. I demonstrate it for long hair, for short hair, and they're just good products. I think it was before my first one quit working. I wanted to order another one like these. What I'm going to show you is not available on QVC right now. They may be on the Callista Tools website. But I couldn't find what I wanted because I wanted a bigger one and I knew exactly what I wanted and I went to eBay. I found the one I wanted. It wasn't at a bad price. I mean, normally they're $100 and I think maybe it was 50. I can't remember. But I ordered it, got it home. I plugged it in, it worked and I put it back in the box because I thought, well, I like, you know, I liked it so much. I wanted to make sure I had a backup because I didn't, you know, you never know when it's gonna go out. 
Well, anyway, when mine did go out, I got that out of the box and it would not work. It would not work. I contacted the seller and just said, I mean, it had been a long time since I'd purchased it. And she said, why don't you contact the company? And I thought, well, they're not gonna, you know, I bought it on eBay. They're not gonna make, they're not gonna do anything. Well, I called the company and for 1995, they would send me a new one. And I'd had no idea. And they didn't even ask me to return the old one. And a friend of mine, Laurie, that is, she loves the Callista tools and she's, she's a viewer of mine. She said that that's how they've always done it. If there's something that goes wrong when it's out of warranty, they will just call, just charge you $19.95 for a new one. So anyway, this is one I bought on QVC. Got a hair in it. I tell you what, I, it's so gentle on my hair. And what came with it is this little tiny one. And I'm gonna do a demonstration using this tiny one to show you how easy it is. This is just on and off, but I tell you, it it is a, it's a slacker's way to do hair. You can't use it as a roller and roll, roll it all the way up because you could get it tangled. But you know, you comb it through your hair and it's just easy. I, I love it, I'm glad to have it. My other ones still work. To get both of these home, I think it was about $112 with, you know, shipping and handling and tax. But I'm glad I have them. This is just so handy and I love it. This is a longer barrel than the other one. I mean, it's so easy. The other thing I really love about it, it does not matter. You can have it on the highest it'll go and you can still hold your hand on it. So I never burn myself, and I used to burn myself all the time. My friend Dixie from Springfield is of Illinois, is the first person that ever told me about these. She said, you have got to try it. And that was about 10 years ago. I have a favorite shampoo, and I'll talk about that in a little while. But I know every once in a while, my hair does need a change, a different shampoo, uh, just for a one time or so. It used to didn't, but the older I get, the more my hair changes. And I've always wanted to try Colleen Rothschild. I've heard so many things about her products. They had a special, and you got this cosmetics case full of pretty nice size samples, or travel size probably products. Well, I'll give you my synopsis on it. I have one of these. The one I have is much nicer than this one. Jim loves it on his hair. I mean, this won't go to waste. I'll have, I'll have one in my bathroom and one in Jim's bathroom. But I mean, this is nice, but the one I got on Amazon was nicer. The number one thing that I wanted to try from Colleen Rothschild is their restorative hair mask. I've used it twice. The scent is good, but it is not it's not my favorite. I mean, that wouldn't keep me from using it. I love scent in shampoo, in hair products. It does, I'll use it until it starts bothering me, but this was okay. I used this on dry hair before I shampooed my hair, and the next time I used it and left it on for five or 10 minutes and then rinsed it out, and I really couldn't tell that much difference. I heard about this from Ella's for Living years ago. This Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. I mean, I can't, I'll, put, I'll link it below if I can find it, but this was not expensive at all. And it works as good if not better than the Colleen. I have not tried the, the Protect and Perfect Styling Cream. I haven't tried it. I tried the shampoo and the conditioner I shampooed like twice with this, and I could not believe how much you had to use. I mean, this it has so much water in it. To me, the conditioner reminded me just of a cream rinse from back in the day. Do you remember our cream rinses we used to buy for our long hair? Uh, none of these are bad products, but they really weren't worth the hype for me. And you know, I will pay, especially with older hair, I will pay money for hair products. I, there is one product I like a lot, and this is the Smooth and Shine Hair Serum. 
but I will show you how much I have to use. If you can see that tiny amount right on this knuckle, that's all it takes. I can put my two fingers in here and go like that and go down and it does work. The first time I shampoo in the new month, I use a Colorwell Dream Coat still. And I do it that way because I will remember to use it. I think you can use it every third shampoo. Well, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> I wouldn't remember, but I will remember to use it on my schedule. But toward the end of the month, my hair will start to get a little bit more frizzy. And I have used this from Colleen and I did like it. But to get this home at the time, it was $56.25. They had a sale, so I've had this for a few months. I ordered the eight ounce bottle of the Bumble and Bumble Building Bond Shampoo, and I've loaned that to somebody to see if it helped, because it really did not do anything for me. So I thought, well, maybe you need to have the whole kit. So I ordered this. So I ordered this kit from Ulta for $29. And it has all three things that you need. The hair repair, the shampoo, and the styling. And it still didn't do anything for me. So I'm going to show you what works for me. And this is what I've been using. Not this bottle. I've had two bottles of this. I'd say three or four years. It's the Living Proof Full Shampoo. And I used to use a conditioner, but I quit using that. This adds volume and body. I tell you, I like, I like the way, you know, after you've washed your hair, how your hair feels. Like sometimes some shampoos make it feel really dry. But something I really like about this is one, two, three pumps is all you need. That's all you need. And that will wash my whole head of hair. I feel like when I buy this, I am not buying water. In general, I like Living Proof products, so that's what I like, and I usually get it when it's on sale, but none of the other things have beat it. And instead of using a conditioner, I've been using leave-ins, and I had to buy this one from Sol de Janeiro. It is a milky leave-in conditioner. I love their cream, and in fact, I will use it, their Boom Boom Cream. I'll just use it on my arms just for the smell. I love their body wash in this scent. I love this and how I use it. I don't use it like I don't spray it all over my hair. I just put two sprays in my hand, put my hair to hands together and put it on my ends. And what's left, I tell you, I like to rub it in my arms. It just smells so good. I had purchased the conditioner, did not like it a bit because uh, I do love that smell. So I'm very happy with this, and it makes my hair behave just as well as, as a washout conditioner. I love the leave-in. See, I do try new things. I found my very favorite mascara, the Superhero, It Superhero Mascara, on sale for three tubes for $29.50. But they always get them. I mean, every so often, they'll have specials. Sometimes it's six for 60 but to me, this is drugstore price. It's not as cheap as Essence, but there is no other mascara that I've tried that I like as well as this. It'll take like 10 swipes, 11 swipes, one coat. It gives me good lashes and it never flakes on me. And it's very easy to take off, just easy. That's why I don't wear waterproof mascara because it's hard to take off and I do not pull and tug at my eyes. I, I'm not going to start doing that at my age. And something else I ordered, and I don't have a discount code, but I'm sure you can find it somewhere. The Factor Dinners, I thought they were really good. I just did them the one time. I think you could get six for $52, which is not cheap, but it's a lot, it's a lot less expensive than eating out. And plus, Jim and I just eat differently. I'll give you the names of what I have. Oh my gosh, the jalapeno lime cheddar chicken. Excellent. Garlic and herb chicken breast. Creamy Parmesan chicken. Sour cream and chive chicken. And I have two in the freezer. So the thing, the reason, number one, there's two reasons. If Jim would like these, I would get them every so often. 
but I'm the only one that, that likes them. He didn't even want to try them. And they're, they're not frozen. They're refrigerated, and they'll refrigerate for up to a week. Well, I ate them four days in a row, and then I froze the other two, and I thought they were really good, but I'm not really willing to pay more than that, more than what I paid for them. But if they have a special deal, I will do it again. I could use more vegetables. I can always add more vegetables to it, but the meat was really tasty. I did like it a lot, and the convenience where well, you couldn't beat it. And that is all I have for today. I am wearing makeup today, just some powder. Uh, I've been wearing, and I've had this on for three and a half hours, and I have not touched it up. I've had coffee, I haven't had breakfast, but this is the BK Beauty, oh, Lux lipstick that I love. I do love her formula. And this is in gratitude. And I just think it's really pretty. I didn't. Eat, I usually put gloss on just because I like the look of gloss, but I wanted to try it without any. And I'll have stains six hours from now if I don't do anything else to it. I put this on when I got up before I left the bathroom. I had it in there so I could put it on. I wanted to, and I'll let you know how long it. Hey, that's what I'll do. I'll let you know how long it stays. That is all I have for today. It is all good. I hope you are doing well. Thank you for being here. I will see you in my next video and take care. I think I have, I I put this on before when I, woo, when I bought my, anytime anybody, I get a lot, just, you know, so uh, I'll do that the next time. I'll go ahead and get, so, but I, it's not, that's why I don't wear, and it gives me 